Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for data center and telecom professionals. I'm Laura Nolan coming to you from beautiful Miami at Metro Connect USA 2022. Joining me today, we have Louis Fialo, Vice President of China Telecom Americas. Welcome back to JSA TV. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, tell our viewers about China Telecom Americas and what you do and, and then maybe who your ideal client would be. Okay, so that's a great question. So uh, China Telecom Americas, um, we're obviously a, a U.S.-based company for China Telecom Corporation, but our, uh, our, you know, we're, we're here today because uh, one of our biggest segments of our market uh, that we address is the communication service provider market. And what we're doing is we help uh, American companies, multinationals primarily, uh, including carriers, get to China and Asia. And then we also help the Chinese enterprises that are coming here to the Americas, as well, uh, you know, in the U.S. and the rest of the Americas region. So we are an international communications provider, and we leverage the resources of both of our parent companies and our local partners and the resources that we built as well. Wonderful. Here at Metro Connect, a lot of folks buzzing about a lot of topics in the telecom industry. One of those is software-defined networking. I know that CTA has done a great job in deploying a lot of projects with SD-WAN. Can you tell us why there is a demand and then maybe an example of, of how CTA is, is meeting that demand? Yeah, no, that's a great question. Uh, first of all, we view the world of uh, communications changing exponentially, right? So our customers, what that means is that our customers want a world where they actually have a lot of flexibility. They want to have, because their requirements are constantly changing. You know, if you believe in this concept of digitalization, that's what's driving a lot of this stuff. So second thing is really, you know, if you think about the traditional private networks that have been built over the years, well, that develops stranded assets. That re uh, requires a lot of capital investments, things that people no longer just want to do. They want to have flexibility. And you know, and, and you put it all together with the, the deployment and the emergence of cloud solutions, edge computing solutions. So customers now want to move in that direction. And as a result, SD-WAN becomes a logical extension of what they're already building and doing. Another hot topic, hybrid environments. And I know that CTA works with multinational companies and you mentioned earlier expanding globally. So how is, is CTA doing that with the hybrid environments? Well, first of all, that's what we do. We, we help uh, go from a private cloud to private cloud, I mean public cloud, to on-premise solutions, and we integrate it all together. So. The hybrid cloud solutions is something that was has been brought on because customers want to be able to take advantage of some of their existing investments as well as uh, prepare for the future as they continue through their digitalization. And China Telecom, we built our SD-WAN platform to be able to support that kind of infrastructure, give them flexibility to be able to bring in different types of solutions onto our platform. And it's really an extension of their platform that's being built and enhanced by our investments that we've made. Lots of great things coming out of CTA. What are you most excited about for the future? Yeah, that's, a, that's also a good question. You're asking very good questions today. So, uh, no, I, I would say, you know, I'm really excited about the, the changes that are taking place in the world of communications. Because if you think about it, you know, um, we're, we're in the cusp of really changing a lot of things. Not only are our customers really going through a lot of transformational issues as far as digitalization and moving in that direction. But the second thing we're, see, we're starting to see is that they're adopting new technologies. SD-WAN, artificial intelligence, machine learning. Everything's being pushed out to the edge. Everything's in the cloud. So it's a, it's a completely changing way of the traditional way we used to provide telecom services to benefit the benefit of our customers because now they get to do it on demand basis. So um, to me, that's pretty exciting. And that's actually exciting for our industry to see those type of changes and taking advantage of it. And I'm actually very proud, most proud of that our company is one of the companies that is leading these changes and adopting our, through ourselves our own investments to help our customers in this journey. Where can our viewers go to learn more about China Telecom Americas or CTA? Well, you can always go to CTAAmericas.com. Um, you can always reach out to one of our uh, uh, sales managers and directors. Uh, we're always here to try to help and, and teach more about what we have to do. 
Well, thank you for joining us again, Lewis. Always a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcast. Happy networking.